Welcome! This video will show you how to take advantage of a new function of our device and make the device work as a thermostat. This feature is available both in the newest versions of our device's software and requires only a Dallas DS18B20 thermometer. You should not use different thermometers. Enter the input configuration window and switch to the analog alarms and other tab. On the lower right of the screen, you now have the thermostat settings. The most basic way to use these settings is to connect either a heating or a cooling device to the alarm and switch it on or off depending on the temperature. In this example, we will show you how the device behaves with a heater connected. However, for the effects to be quick and to keep the movie short, we use a resistor instead of a heater. We use the fact that a resistor will heat up when you let current flow through it. The resistor is glued to a thermometer so the changes in temperature are detected instantly. The resistor is also connected to outputs 1 and plus 12 VL which are its power supply. Now, if we want our improvised heater to work, we need the outputs to react to the chosen X variable. Enter the output configuration window. For OC1 and plus 12 VL, pick variable X8. These are the only changes you need to make in this window. These are the outputs to which our improvised heater is connected and these settings will cause the current to flow through the resistor when the analog zone is armed and the X variable is active. This will cause a rise in temperature. Save the configuration and exit. Enter the thermometer configuration window. Find slot 29 and enter the thermometer serial number. Save this configuration to confirm this setting. Now, in a couple of seconds, the temperature should appear. Now, minimize this window. The next thing you need to do is enter the 147 pin code and activate analog zone 1. As you can see, the analog zone 1 was triggered because the temperature is below 32 degrees, the X8 variable was activated and the outputs were switched on, which means our improvised heater was switched on. Bring back the temperature configuration window and set it in such a way that you can see the temperature and also the main window. Now we have to wait until the temperature reaches 33 degrees. As you can see, the temperature is rising quite fast. As you saw, once the temperature reached 33 degrees, the alarm zone was disarmed, the variable was deactivated and the outputs were switched off. It may take a couple of seconds before the temperature starts falling, as the resistor heats up a lot and needs a while to cool down. Now the temperature is falling and once it falls below 32 degrees, the whole process starts once again. As you saw, once the temperature fell below 32 degrees, it all started again. 
the alarm analog zone was armed, the X8 variable was activated, and the outputs were switched on, which again switched the heater and the temperature is now rising again. You can now exit this window. Remember to always carefully pick an appropriate spot to mount a thermometer. Unlike in this example, where we wanted changes to occur rapidly, in real life you want the thermometer to be placed somewhere where these changes are not influenced by short-term external factors. For instance, let's say you mount the thermometer near the main door of your house. You have the thermostat set in a way that will turn on your furnace when the temperature falls be below 20 degrees. When you open this door in winter, cold wind may blow into the house and temporarily cool the area near the door. The temperature in the rest of the room stays the same, and soon the temperature in that area would also return to its previous value, but due to the thermometer being so close to the door, it gave a reading of below the 20 degree limit. This would mean that, the, that your furnace was turned on only because the door was open for a second or two, and you do not want that to happen as it would increase your heating expenses. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.